Welcome to American Broadcasting Station. With just one simple click kindly subscribe to our channel for more updates. The US has just one lightning answer to Iran. We have just one weapon that can counter your 100 drones gift to Putin. The White House on Monday said it believes Iran is providing Russia with hundreds of unmanned aerial vehicles including armed drones to use in its invasion of Ukraine. The new information came as fighting between the two Eastern European countries have now lasted about four and a half months. The information indicates that the Iranian government is preparing to provide Russia with up to several hundred UAVs, including weapons-capable UAVs on an expedited timeline. Iran's support is indicative that Russia's attacks on Ukraine are coming at a cost to the sustainment of its own weapons. This move by Iran is no news to the United States since it has recently developed a technology in its arsenal that would be able to neutralize drones. According to a report from the Defense Post, Naval Information Warfare Center, engineers have developed a defense system that provides low-altitude air defense battalion gunners with improved capabilities for detecting, identifying and neutralizing weapons, including unmanned aerial vehicles such as drones. The system, known as the Marine Air Defense Integrated System, is equipped with 360-degree radar, stinger missiles, heavy guns and multifunctional electronic warfare to combat drones. It was set to undergo further testing and evaluation this year, and when put into service, the system will provide the military with an indispensable advantage over its enemy. As the United States learned that Iran is giving Russia drones to use in the conflict, Russia quickly stepped up its strikes against Ukraine killing more civilians in recent days. On Monday, Russian shelling struck Kharkov, the second largest city in Ukraine, killing three people and injuring 31 others. It came after a strike against the eastern city of Chasovyar reportedly killed 35 people. Putin launched the special military operation in Ukraine in late February with claims to liberate the eastern separatist Donbas region. He has also attempted to justify the war by claiming Nazis run the Ukrainian government, even though Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is Jewish. The revelation that Iran is giving armed drones to Russia came the same week that Biden announced plans to make his first trip to the Middle East as president. Iran's drone gift also puts it at odds with the United States, which, along with other Western nations, has backed Ukraine amid the conflict, sending its military weapons and enacting sanctions against Russia. Experts anticipate Iran's nuclear deal and other activities will be a major topic of discussion between Biden and Middle Eastern leaders during his trip as nuclear negotiations with Iran continue to stall. Meanwhile, Putin is set to visit Iran next week. Kindly subscribe for more updates.